Welcome to the multi-enzymatic synthesis talk that is related to the design of reaction cascade in this new course. The Enzyme Commission has established the classification of seven enzyme classes, six of them displaying catalytic activity for the acceleration of chemical reactions. The advantage of enzymes resides in their specificity since they are able to catalyze single transformations. However, the isolation and purification of sometimes unstable intermediates is a problem especially when several individual steps are involved in a chemical route as occurred with stepwise approaches. Interestingly, the combined use of enzymes in one pot using a unique vessel improves the sustainability of a chemical route, and this can be possible in a sequential manner, that is, when reactors can be added along the process or reaction conditions such as temperature or pH can be changed, more interestingly, the use of concurrent cascades is sometimes possible with all the substrates, reagents, and enzymes added from the first beginning of the process and without changing the reaction condi conditions. But this is not exclusively of multi-enzymatic catalysis, since there are other species such as metals or organocatalysts that can work in the presence of enzymes in a cooperative manner for increasing molecular complexity. Focusing on multi-enzymatic synthesis, here you can find some examples of this research area that is gaining increasing attention in recent years. Moving back, we need to remember that a cascade reaction also called for sun out or a stand-in or domino processes can be defined as the combination of at least two chemical steps in a single recipient without requiring the isolation of reaction intermediates. In this context, there are several Cascade lab types like orthogonally generally allowing shifting reaction equilibrium, parallel by producing two different reaction products, cyclic, such as the racemization strategies to produce an antipyrrhic compound from racemates, but to avoid overlapping with other sections, here we will focus on linear transformations where the product reactions of one step serves as the starting material for the next one thus increasing molecular complexity. As mentioned before, depending on the catalyst compatibility or, or the possibility of multiple catalysts to work in an orchestral manner, cascade transformations can be considered by adding all of them from the beginning and without the need to modify reactions condition or isolate reaction intermediates. Overcoming some limitation in terms of catalyst deactivation, a sequential approach at the right can be considered by modifying reaction condition or adding reagents along the process. Importantly, several combinations can be considered in multi-enzymatic synthesis, and some of them will be here discussed to give you more clues for determining transformations. Before developing cascade process, you need to identify active catalysts for each individual step and find that the base conditions in terms of pH reaction medium, temperature, substrate concentration, and cofactor dependency. Once that your individual transformations are feasible, efforts need to be made to try to implement both transformation in the same pot, which sometimes need their reuse of parameters that were previously studied or explored the inhibition of catalysts due to the presence of reactants, intermediates, or byproduct. To make it clear, some examples are here provided. In the first example, a bienzymatic approach is reported for the synthesis of an amide from the corresponding aldehyde consisting of a first biotransamination step catalyzed by a transaminase and the reaction between the four benzyl amine with an ester, such as methyl ethoxyacetate, using acyl an acyl transferase. One of the potential drawbacks of the approach is the competition between the amine donor and the benzyl amine of, in the acyl transferase reaction. For that reason, an amino acid such as L-ananine was selected instead of commonly used isopropyl amine, since the acid transferase does not recognize amino acids as subset. Therefore, L-ananine can be used in great tests to shift the equilibrium of the first step and provide the benzyl amine for the second. An optimization of the reaction conditions the concurrent cascade was developed obtaining m benzyl 2 methoxyacetamide in 92 conversion and 75 isolated gel. 
In the second example, a three-step cascade is proposed for the formation of ethyl S for chloro 3 hydroxybutyrate into ethyl R 3 hydroxyglutarate, a key intermediate for the synthesis of rosuvastatin, that is a lipid lowering drug. The route involves the use of an engineer halo haloid hydrin dehalogenase responsible for the conversion of the haloidrin into the epoxen and its opening using sodium cyanide. Then the hydrosyl nitrile was hydrolyzed by the action of anitrilase to form the corresponding carboxylic acid. The process is hampered by the inactivation of the nitrilase by the presence in high concentration of the haloidrin and the sodium cyanide. So a fed batch process that allows the addition over the time of the reagent is disclosed. Also, co-expression of both enzyme gyms in Escherichia coli is possible to successfully achieve the cascade that was successfully developed in a multigram scale. Next examples of bioinination of alcohols is, is reported by combining a chemothematic approach using a lacase medito system for the oxidation of alcohols into ketone under biotransamination using transaminases. The use of the pale lacase tempo and oxy radical species allows the oxidation of activated alcohols, the lacase allowing the reoxidation of the oxidant tempo that is used in low concentration. Unfortunately, the mechanism of these reactions implies the use of low pH buffer between 4.5 and 5.5 that are incompatible with the presence of isopropylamine as amine donor. For that reason, a sequential approach is employed, adding the transaminase and the amine donor once the oxidation step is finished, and diluting the subsequent concentration for a proper action of the transamination. This has allowed the synthesis of kira alpha methyl benzylamines and allylic amines in moderate to esterline yields and esterline selectivities. The access to both amine and antiomers depending on the transaminase of choice. The possibility to, co to couple like cases with other enzymes is also possible, for example with NR reductases, that are enzymes responsible for the stereoselective reduction of electronic deficient alkenes that are those conjugated with electron withdrawing groups such as ketone aldehydes or nitro groups. In this case, both enzymes can work under similar SGDPH conditions, but the presence of some specific reagents for the E-red e e actions deters the work of the lacase or vice versa. Best conditions were found when the reaction was, was run in a sequential manner by adding the NR reductase, glucose, and glucose dehydrogenase when the first step was finished. Overall, 13 allylic alcohols were obtained with good yields and good selectivity when a stereogenic tenter was present in the molecule. Finally, the importance of the cofactor recycling is exposed in the final example, consisting of the combination in this case of a first reductive step using an end reductase, followed by an oxidation of the resulting alcohol to form the corresponding carboxylic acid using an aldehyde oxidase. In this case, the redox equivalents required in the first reductive steps are provided by the second oxidative step, step in form of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide in reduced form. Therefore, a high atom efficient process is disclosed even on semi preparative scale after optimization of both individual steps and a deep study of the hydrogen borrowing biocatalytic cascade in terms of subset and cofactor concentration and also densive loadings. Overall, as a summary, it can be highlighted that linear multi-enzymatic synthesis is, is in one pot is possible either by sequential or concurrent approaches and providing access to several organic molecules and inducing chirality. Also, other combinations are possible, such as the use of enzymes together with metal species, organocatalysts, or in the presence of photocatalysts and light irradiation. Interestingly, the creation of bionano hybrid by supporting a metal species and an enzyme in a single carrier is also possible, simplifying the reaction setup and allowing the recovery and reuse of both catalysts, and also the co-expression of several enzymes to work all together. This has allowed the development of more sophisticated processes uh, and also complex processes, as recently for the synthesis of the anti-HIV agent Islatravir, where 13 researchers were involved for the design of multi-kilogram cascade involving nine enzymes and three steps, requiring 
five engineer enzymes and four auxiliary enzymes to act on a non-natural substrate. A leading with enzyme without intermediate uh, isolation to a final product in overall 51% yield. Thanks for watching it. Without any doubt, biocatalytic cascades are useful solutions for organic synthesis. Thank <laughs> you.